Hey, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you guys the best videos around. Today we've got an A-list band. Vsauce and Veritasium's new collab. Entropy. Entropy. And Weird Al's internet takeover. Yay, I'm happy. Of all the grammar lessons that I had in school, I wish one had come like this. The king of music parodies, Weird Al Yankovic is back and is releasing one brand new music video every day for the next eight days. If you don't know how to conjugate, maybe you flunked that class, and maybe now you find that people mock you on He's teaming up with a different channel for each video. And he kicked it off Monday on Nerdist with his tacky parody of Pharrell's Happy, all this in promotion of his new album, Mandatory Fun. To make sure you don't miss any of his new videos as they drop, we'll be adding them to a playlist with some classics. You got the link right here, down in the description, and after the show. There are three things I love to do in the summer. Barbecue, go to the beach, and slide headfirst down a San Francisco street. Yeah. Our friend Devin Superchamp just released this. It was shot on the longest day of the year on the longest slip and slide I've ever seen. If you want to know how they pulled this whole thing off, there's a great behind the scenes video on his channel. The city of Ichon, South Korea is known all around the world for ceramic art and its master potters use centuries old techniques to create their masterpieces. Last year their work was featured among others at the American Museum of Ceramic Art and their process was captured in this amazing compilation. This is so mesmerizing to watch, it's hard to turn it off. Anybody else get the urge to watch Ghosts? Just saying. Hey YouTube Nation, it's Derek from Veritasium. I'm here at the YouTube Space LA celebrating 1 billion views for Vsauce. What I'm really excited about is an incredible collaboration I've been working on with Michael Stevens. It's answering all the questions of life, the universe, and everything. What will happen tomorrow is not random. For example, the sun will rise, water will still freeze at zero degrees Celsius, and you won't become Michael Stevens. We know this because everything in the universe is made of 12 fundamental particles and they interact in four predictable ways. Wow, so nothing would be unpredictable, which means nothing would be random. Scientific theories allow us to predict a lot of things, but can we predict everything? That is the question I will answer. Jenny Lewis is back. It's been six years since her last solo album and the former Rilo Kylie frontwoman is marking her return with a new Beck produced track. The video features cameos from Anne Hathaway, Kristen Stewart, and Brie Larson. It's a tongue in cheek commentary on the challenges that women face and it's being shared everywhere. It's got a million and a half views after two days. No matter how I try to be just one of the guys, there's a little something inside that won't Her new album, The Voyager, drops next week, so be on the lookout. Back in 2007, a video premiered that remains, to this day, one of my favorite things on the internet. Obviously, I'm talking about Planet Unicorn. This show is about three magical unicorns, Feathers, Cadillac, and Tom Cruise, who were wished into existence by a boy named Shannon. Seriously. Look, the falls! They're brown! That's an awful color. I don't like that color. What happened? What's happening? <laughs> hey, you! Stop that! I'm gonna freeze them with my freezing beam! Planet Unicorn was amazing. It's super gay. It was really silly. It had a really incredible theme song. It was named one of New York Magazine's 20 funniest web videos of 2007 and has a very special place in my heart. Planet Unicorn, hey. You got a favorite throwback video that you want to see on the show? Just post it in the comments using the hashtag Throwback Thursday. Every Saturday, we focus the show just on one single topic, and this week, it's optical illusions like this. Now play us out, Yacht! If my friends were